Margot, it's me. Can you wait? For what? Do you know what time it is? Yes, I know. Sorry. But here I am, packed, dressed, and ready to go. Barbara, the cruise doesn't leave for six months. Aren't you afraid your clothes will get wrinkled? The only thing wrinkled around here is asleep next to me in the bed. On both sides of the Atlantic, people simply can't wait. They are dreaming in the kitchen, imagining in the office. It's a daydreaming epidemic of literally epic proportions. Made all the more so because the dreams are about the longest, tallest, widest, and grandest ocean liner ever built. Introducing Queen Mary II, the greatest ocean liner of our time and destined to be known as the most famous ocean liner in the world. The Majestic Queen has been four years in the making. Like the great Cunard liners before her, she will have enough firsts to be considered a destination like no other. From her first-of-a-kind sea-going planetarium to the first Canyon Ranch Spa Club at sea, QM2, as she will be known, will have a list of superlatives that cannot be matched anywhere on Earth. Featuring cuisine inspired by master chef Daniel Boulou, QM2 offers three main dining rooms and seven alternative venues where you might sample a different restaurant every day of the week aboard this grand city at sea. From the three-story Britannia restaurant that invites a grand descent down a majestic staircase, to the Mediterranean restaurant of renowned chef Todd English, you will find choices that cater to a variety of well-developed culinary tastes. Guests in duplexes, penthouses and suites dine in the exquisite and intimate grills, cited by Fieldings and Berlitz as the premier dining experience at sea. For a casual breakfast or lunch, there's King's Court. At night, it's transformed into four intimate eateries, each with its own distinctive menu and decor. Here you'll find the innovative Chef's Galley, where you'll watch and sample delectables prepared by a personable chef. Then there's the Boardwalk Cafe near the pool, where you can lunch without having to change out of your swimwear, and the Golden Lion for pub food and televised sporting events. Or you can avoid making any decision by retiring to your stateroom, where room service selections are available 24 hours a day. Barbara, do you remember our last holiday together at the spa? Do I remember? Jeff is still talking about the bill from that resort. The one with the lavender rub and too many zeros. You know how we always planned on going to Canyon Ranch in Arizona? Well, now there's one on QM2. I hear they have 24 treatment rooms and 50 health and wellness experts. And we don't have to worry about the guys. They can be at the golf simulator or playing basketball. It's like two vacations for the price of one. A perfect his and her holiday. Beneath all that is new and exciting, classic traditions of ocean travel weave throughout QM2. You'll find broad promenades and inviting steamer chairs where you might sip bouillon while enjoying ocean views. There's traditional afternoon tea served in elegant Wedgwood China amid the greenery of the Winter Garden. Evening brings out the best in QM2. Perhaps a toast in the Verve Clicquot Champagne Bar, or an encounter with Lady Luck in the elegant Empire Casino. While in the Queen's Room, crystal chandeliers complement beaded gowns sweeping across the largest ballroom at sea, as G32 rocks to the rhythm of rock and roll. Less strenuous pursuits are found in the Commodore Club, where jazz permeates the air the way fine scotch coats a glass and in the chart room, where the perfect martini is shaken, not stirred. Offering the best of both worlds, QM2's innovations serve as dramatic contrast to Cunard's time-honored traditions. Imagine a theater that offers lectures and movies and then transforms itself into the only planetarium at sea. Then visit Cunard Connections, the 20,000 square foot learning center managed by none other than Oxford University. Here you can participate in discussions featuring experts from both sides of the Atlantic on topics that range from Shakespeare to wine tasting. Whether your tastes lean toward drama, comedy or classical music, you'll find Royal Court Theatre, a state-of-the-art show lounge with exceptional acoustics and lighting, 
Here, production shows will dazzle, while a repertory company, trained by London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, will offer plays, workshops and acting classes. In all, Queen Mary II is a ship of superlatives, found not only in her innovative features, but also in the quality of service and accommodation. Trained in Cunard's famous British White Star service, room stewards attend to every detail, while butlers found in QM2's resplendent suites and penthouses somehow divine your every wish. Choices in accommodation abound, from merely commodious to the shamefully extravagant. Royal suites, some with private elevator access, others with commanding ocean views. Two-story duplex apartments, expandable to more than 4,000 square feet of space. Stunning balcony cabins and suites with enough room outside to complement the room inside. And simply gracious inside and outside accommodations, the smallest almost 200 square feet, all feature soft colors, artful prints, and special touches that range from a pillow concierge and turndown service to a unique interactive TV system offering movies on demand, internet access for email, and in-room shopping. Can you wait? No, I can't. QM2 sounds like it has so much to do and see that it almost doesn't matter where the ship goes. True, but still. Can't you imagine Europe in the summer or winters in the Caribbean? It would be like finding our favorite resort everywhere we want to go. Better than that, just give me the peace and tranquility of a transatlantic crossing with enough time to forget about home while I spend my days at the Canyon Ranch Spa Club and my nights. Aboard the most famous ocean liner in the world. Choose from historic transatlantic crossings. Caribbean cruises from New York and Fort Lauderdale, cruises to Northern Europe and the sunny Mediterranean, and a special to Rio's Carnival. 2004 is fast approaching and with it, the launch of Queen Mary II. You are invited to be a part of history in the making. We can't wait. Can you?